a possible reason. Senate President Amala Wan was drafted into the crowded 2023 presidential race on the platform of All Progressives Congress, APC, as featured into the open. According to a political risk consultancy firm that gave insight into the game plan in its weekly intelligence reports on Nigeria, Nigeria politics and security, there are likely to be some defections before APC's presidential primaries on June 1st by those who now believe that they have little or no chance of being selected for the party's ticket. According to the intelligence report, Lawan is one of those who submitted the forms on time, adding, despite his late entry into the race to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari, he has emerged as one of the front runners as the APC seeks way to respond to the responsibility of facing a northern candidate representing the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. Lawan chances of winning the APC ticket have improved following the failure of a plan to draft Nigeria's 2010-2015 president Good Luck Jonathan into the presidential election race. Yobe State Governor Mimala Boni, who until recently was the APC caretaker chairman and who urged the plan to draft Jonathan appears to have been behind the move to bring Lawan into the race after the previous plan failed. APC closed the sale of its nomination forms on May 13 and is currently screening the 28 presidential candidates who submitted their forms before the deadline. Central Bank of Nigeria CBN Governor Godwin Imefele did not submit the completed APC forms and will therefore not be screened. This, according to the intelligence report, is, this, is despite receiving a last-minute legal injunction preventing the CBN's board from stopping him from completing comp com from competing. President Buhari's instruction for all political appointees who have declared their intention to run in 2023 to resign on or before May 16th appears to have deterred Emifele from proceeding with its plans. Nonetheless, he is likely to be fired anyway because he has demonstrated his political partisanship as an APC member. An increasing number of cabinet members, including Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chris Ngige, and the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abubakar Malami, have abandoned their political ambitions after Buhari instructed all candidates to resign their portfolios by May 16. Hmm. This will wonder shall never end. Ngige had purchased the presidential nomination forms while Malami had obtained the ones for the Kirby State gubernatorial election. The fear of losing their powerful jobs appears to have compelled them to reconsider their quest. However, a number of cabinet colleagues, including Minister of Transportation, Chibike Amechi, have resigned to, so that they can run for one of the posts in next year's general election. There is a growing likelihood that neither APC nor the main opposition PDP will win the 2023 national election of the first ballot and that regional parties will subsequently emerge. The APC's overwhelming dominance is likely to dwindle. The PDP is likely to remain in its south-south strongholds, while the smaller parties will be strong in specific states and the National Assembly. The intelligence report says, continuing, he said Colonel State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje's chief of staff announced his defection to the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, on May 14th. He is the state's latest high-profile defector to the NNPP, which gained popularity after its 1999-2003 and 2011-2015 governor, governor Rabi Kwankwansu defected from the PDP, NNPP recently welcomed Abdu, Abdu Mumin Jubrin, Bola Ahmed Sinubu's campaign director general in the north, who defected from the APC to the NMPP, despite pleas from Tinubu not to do so. Fourteen PDP members in Kano State House of Assembly have subsequently defected to the NNPP, which has transformed into the major opposition in Kano, which, after Lagos, has the second largest number of voters and but boasts the highest 
tunnels. Because of Kwakwansu popularity in many parties of the north, the party could become the party of choice for potential defectors from both the APC and the PDP, which makes the NNPP a force to be reckoned with in 2023. NNPP now, now also has a good chance of winning Kano, Kano State in next year's gubernatorial election thanks to Kokwansu's support because the APC appears increasingly divided in the state and may also become a strong contender in other northern states. At the report, the emerging shape of country's new politics is the likelihood of the All Progressive Grand Alliance ABGA winning more states in the southeast if both the APC and the PDP fail to field an Igbo candidate. NNPP is also tipped to win Kano and some states in the core north as well as the Social Democratic Party SDP, possibly winning some states in the southwest after the defection of some APC big wigs if Lawan is selected as the party party's candidate. <laughs> ah. Oh my shoe. What a pity. Oh my shoe. Had it been the manner at which they are doing their plotting and whatever this and this and that, and as, as if they have a if they have a good intentions concerning this country, it would have been better. We we all be rejoicing, say, yeah, wow, ah, these ones are the ones that will do the best in oh, this one in this area they're going to do. If they have that, the, the, the potential or they have the will to do that, the way they are manipulating and calculating and people analyzing, if that is the way the country is developing, it would have been a different thing. It would have been a good thing. But unfortunately, they are just enjoying themselves. They are just plotting and moving left, right and center because they have a, the cash with them, because they've been able to save enough money from the masses. And that is why they can all be doing this. I'm not even interested in all this. Their magomago, their manipulations, their permutations, and what have you. Had it been at the end of the day, they are going to do the needful. Would have been happy. Would have been. It would have been fine. But unfortunately, <laughs> it is all about them. It is all about them. Well, your intelligent report is not correct, please. And for your information, apart from the fact that Lawan will not win the party ticket, he won't even be among the first, second, third by the time they release the res results of the primary election. Just mark my words today. Hmm. Lawan is not even a good presidential material. He's too weak. Lawan will be worse than Buari. He is a yes man. The only person that is not a yes man among them is Tinumbu. There will be surprises in this coming election. It is not only a northern, a northern presidential candidate that can win the election in Nigeria. You are exactly correct. They are making plans workable for the north. Wow. You are a powerful political analyst. But let's see how it goes. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.